evening with your CIG television news brief on this Tuesday evening. I'm Toby Brennan in for Donna Bush. The Ministry of Investment, Innovation and Social Development announced the Cabinet's approval of several amendment bills aimed at strengthening protections for children, youth and older persons, as well as enhancing the social support framework. In a statement about the recent Cabinet approval, Deputy Premier and Minister for Investment, Innovation and Social Development, the Honourable Andre Ebanks, said this. These substantial amendment bills reflect our commitment to protecting our children, young people and old persons. Our strength as a community is measured by the care we extend to those who rely on us for support and safeguarding. By modernizing our social development legislative framework that guards many of the most vulnerable, we demonstrate our commitment to protecting the vulnerable while building a future where every person, regardless of age, can thrive with dignity and respect. The public consultation period is currently open until Monday the 25th of November 2024. To provide your feedback on the amendment bills, please visit publicconsultation.gov.ky. The Department of Environmental Health is urging residents to prioritize food safety during Halloween trick-or-treating to prevent foodborne illnesses. Parents and guardians are advised to ensure children eat a filling meal beforehand to discourage snacking on treats. All treats should be inspected and children should refuse anything that isn't commercially packaged. For young children, potential choking hazards like gum and hard candies should be removed. Parents of children with food allergies must read labels carefully, especially for products with allergen warnings. If you are planning a Halloween party, DEH recommends keeping perishable foods chilled until serving. Do not leave them out for more than two hours and maintaining good hand hygiene. For more information, contact the DEH or visit their website. The Ministry of Tourism and Ports is celebrating Caymanian bodybuilder Robert Thompson Jr.'s recent international achievements, which have elevated him to the elite rankings of natural bodybuilding. Thompson's standout season included major wins such as becoming the UK's top bodybuilder at the BNBF British Finals and securing first place at Muscle Mayhem. We're honored to sponsor Robert Thompson Jr.'s recent achievements he has been from day one a person who has shown his commitment to the sport and we saw that spark in his eye and in, in, in his skill set from early stages hence the reason our commitment to help support him financially in his dreams and visions to be one of the best in the world in respect to bodybuilding um, we're not surprised by his success and his titles that he's he's gotten and we expect continued um, success from him in the future you can see by way of his um, success he's not only just thinking about himself but have now um, encouraged many other Caymanians to to take up this sport even more serious than it has ever been and to the point where you see there's a a major increase of persons participating in the in the field of bodybuilding and, and we're happy to be a part of it um, we think this will only help the Cayman Islands brand shine even brighter in the many different areas across the world, whether it's sports, whether it's bodybuilding, whether it's um, in pageantry or, or, or intellectual um, knowledge-based uh, platforms. We are happy to be a part of this and we're not surprised and we congratulate him and we look forward to continuing to work with him and many others like him that are aspiring to do great things in the world. Thompson expressed his gratitude for the government scholarship, acknowledging the financial demands of competing. He also expressed his pride in representing the Cayman Islands. Mr. Thompson has been contributing locally by coaching nine athletes who excelled in their categories. Looking forward, he aims to establish a bodybuilding federation in the Cayman Islands to support the sport's growth. Here's a look at what to expect weather-wise this Tuesday. According to the Cayman Islands National Weather Service, strong northeasterly winds and rough seas will continue across the Cayman area for the next few days. Scattered showers are expected across the Cayman area for the next 24 hours. Excessive moisture lingering over the Northwest Caribbean interacts with a stationary front. 
The National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida has indicated an area across the Central Caribbean Sea which has a 40% chance of cyclone development over the next seven days. The Cayman Islands National Weather Service will continue to monitor the development of this system. Conditions today are forecast to be cloudy to overcast skies with an 80% chance of showers and some thunder. Showers may become locally heavy at times. Temperatures will rise to the upper 80s but will fall to mid 70s this evening. Winds will be east to northeast at 15 to 20 knots with higher gusts. Seas will be rough with wave heights of five to seven feet. Small crafts should continue to exercise caution over the open seas. We invite you to check out the Cayman Islands National Weather Service website and Facebook page as the best source for local weather coverage. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the Cayman Islands Government YouTube channel for the most accurate local government news. I'm Toby Brennan in for Donna Bush. Have a lovely evening.